When dealing with probability, we have theoretical probability and experimental probability. So right here we have the data from three games of football. And so the quarterbacks completed th this many passes out of this many passes attempted. But it's also said that there's probability of this quarterback completing 60 passes out of every 100 attempts. So if we're to look at the probability here, so I'll label that as P, the probability of completion, we have to take a look at the theoretical number of completions and put that over the total pass attempts. And so in this case it's 60 over 100, which translates to 64%. So this is the theoretical probability. But right here we have this data right here from three games. And so here, if we're to take a look at this probability, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take the number of completions and put it over the total pass attempts. And so in this case, we have 51 completions over 67 pass attempts, which translates to 0 0.76, which translates to 76%. So if we note it, if you notice here, these two percentages are a lot different. And that's the difference here between theoretical probability and experimental probability. Theoretical probability is calculated by just looking at the odds of what's going to happen. So somebody could examine this quarterback's throwing ability, look at his opponents, and say, okay, the theoretical probability here is that he'll complete 60% of his passes. But then when it's all said and done, we have experimental probability, which is what he actually did, which is a 76% chance. Another example of this would be, say, rolling a die, for example. So say you're looking at flipping a coin. And so the probability of landing on heads when flipping a coin is one half. So say you flip a coin six times. And so four times it lands on heads and twice it lands on tails. And so really, these should be even, really. For there to be a 50% chance of landing on heads, then you should have landed on heads three times, and the coin should have landed on tails three times. So this is, right here, the theoretical probability. Because when you flip a coin, there's a 50-50 chance of what it'll land on. There's a 50% chance it'll land on heads and a 50% chance it lands on tails. So if you were to flip a coin six times, the theoretical probability is that it would land on heads three times and tails on three times. But right here we have the experimental probability, and this is what actually happened. So that's the difference between theoretical and experimental probability.